these sessions of sound bathing sound baths hilarious yeah <laughs> is sound popular. baths which sound as woo woo and as insane as anything i've ever heard in this space but there is something behind it i'd love to hear your thoughts on it bottom line is that most of the sound baths most of them are often done with crystal bowls they're, mm -hmm. they're the new <clears throat> i love crystal bowls i've had them for years uh i i personally prefer using the voice. We can talk a little bit about that later because I have a technique uh, that uh, everybody can use and feel the you know powerful vibrations of it. But the, with the sound baths, ultimately what's happening is that most of these sounds are helping induce a state of relaxation, a state of st stress uh, response where they reduce the stress and when that happens, for a lot of people who are so stressed out, who are so tense, they go into a deep state of release. And when you release, you can have powerful healing going on. So it's real, simply because you're going into a state of relaxation. It's that simple and that important. Because, Alex, I think you'll probably agree that people are probably more stressed out now than they've ever been. Mm-hmm. And if music, you know, one of the hilarious things is I know this fellow, but I was watching this thing on uh, uh, that that's the music uh, medicine thing. And this, this doctor was reporting that listening to relaxing music is as effective in hospitals as Valium. And that's huge. Wow. It is extremely huge. I mean, because it, look, and anyone and, and the things we're talking about, I think everyone has experience with in one way, shape, or form. We've all listened to music. So, I mean, the music that I listened to as a teenager, and it's so it's so profound again, what you said is like at the moment of where you were resonating at that time, certain music resonated with you as well, because it's that it was at, at the same level. So things I used to listen to in 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 high school are not arguably the exact same things i listen to now and the same thing goes for movies same thing goes for books same thing that like you've just changed your frequency if you will and the things that you are attracted to and resonate with just change as you get older hopefully if you're evolving in one way shape or form i know some of the most interesting 50 year olds i know have not changed since high school <laughs> you know what i mean but it is such a profound thing that that when you're listening to i go back sometimes and i'll listen to music i listened to uh when i was in high school I'm like oh i haven't heard that song in forever and i'll turn it on and i'm like yeah this doesn't work anymore for me and it's oh. it, it, and, and sometimes i'll go watch a movie that i like that i thought was the greatest film of all time and then i watch it and i go oh this is horrible this is this is, i mean I, all i see is plot problems and acting problems but when i was a kid it was like this is the coolest thing i've ever seen in my life so now just for my own personal sake i don't go back and watch older movies if i have any indication that they have not aged well because in my mind they're perfect <laughs> but if i watch them i'll get it'll ruin it listen i'm gonna tell you that uh one of my favorite movies as a kid was the original black and white king kong and that movie still mm. works for me as an example. There's, a, you know, I still love the oh. Beatles, for example. Of course, so they aged really well. There are things I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest to you that uh, you may find also that there are things from your past absolutely that age really well. And uh, oftentimes, I'm surprised. I have a son who's uh, 35 and you know we talk about movies and uh you know and music and whatnot we talk about it aging well or not aging well and it's so interesting and that again depends upon the individual too mm -hmm. yeah and and i mean you look you go back and you watch a kubrick film when you're 18 you'll see it differently than you'll see it when you're 40 uh just because of life experience and that's what good art does as a general statement and i think music is that way as well the set I mean, Beatles, I, I could have had an appreciation for when I was in my in my teens because the Beatles weren't the Beatles when I was 18. That wasn't the hot new band. Um, but for my parents' generation, they were the band. Mm -hmm. But when I did listen to them, they resonated with me. But they don't resonate nearly as much as they resonate now with me when I listen to them. Uh, because, because it's a different, you know, once you 
you know, that my understanding of where they were coming from watching so many documentaries of their process, 97% of their songs are about love, you know, like th this, this stuff is, it, it, it means something. So it's really interesting to see how it has changed as time goes on. And again, this is just a larger example of resonating with things at, at a frequency level. It's talking about our evolution. Mm-hmm. How are we evolving? And I, I will also acknowledge that I'm oftentimes deep into exploring the uh, books and music and films that I enjoyed as a kid to see how they held out. Because sometimes there is, if you like, if you can see it through the eyes of a child, like, you know, I mean, Godzilla was so silly with this guy in a floppy, uh, you know, monster suit or whatnot. But it, I, I can sometimes almost time travel back to yes. when I was a child and get into that, you know, step into the clothes of the, of little Johnny watching, you know, the black and white TV uh, with Godzilla go, wow, that's cool. Or I can watch now the, the brand new Godzilla type thing. That's uh, called Monarch, Leg Monarch legacy. That's got great special effects. Also good. I, it's really hard <laughs> for me to find a movie or a uh, piece of music that, I can't find some merit with it's so easy to put down music, but the fact that somebody created something, uh, what a blessing to them. I mean, it may not resonate deeply with me. Right. Exactly. And that, and that's the thing is like, you'll go back and you'll watch certain things or you'll listen to certain things and it doesn't resonate. It might, you might you understand it. I mean, look, I can watch star Wars right now. I can watch the, all the Indiana Jones, the original Indiana Joneses right now. And you're back there. You're a child again. You are, right back there those films have those abilities to do that and those and the music with those films i mean you take the music out of star wars and indiana jones it's not a movie you just can't, you know imagine if you just throw some stock music on there it it, it doesn't have the power that it, that this uh that the films have now so it's again the power of of sound is so important alex i'm gonna basically share something I found out about a month ago. I was floored. I didn't know this. I'm going to share this with you. I don't know why. It's just popping into my consciousness. To watch the full video, click on the link below. And don't forget to subscribe.